Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. Uh, I have a brief message for anybody who has a website or a business. You can increase your potential customers by 1.5 billion by translating your content into Chinese. You can contact Chris at WIPtranslation.com. WIP translation, you can uh, pronounce that. I'll put some information in the sidebar if you're interested. Just had a quick thought about long-term planning because I there are a lot of people I know who don't even try to plan six months, three months, a year. They wouldn't even think of planning that far ahead. And how in the hell do you plan long term, like 10, 20, 30, 40 years? Maybe I'm not the right guy to speak on this because I'm 30 years old. I haven't really particularly had the longest amount of time to plan and then play the plans out. But from what I have done, the planning I have done, saying I'm going to open a school and seeing how to do that and where it goes and where it takes me, I have learned a couple of things. First of all, you can't always know exactly what's around the next bend. Some people want a 1,000 step plan to get from here to retirement or something like that. They want every single thing to be known knowable. They want to be able to hash it all over in their brain. And these are the people who don't plan, right? Because they set up that great monolith of difficulty of understanding what your life is going to be. You have to have a hundred thousand plan step to retirement. Oh my God, I'm just going to try to get through the week, you know? That's not how it goes. Actually, you cannot know what's just around the bend sometimes. And the bend may be a year or five years or ten. But you cannot know. So, here's what I say. Step two, you've got to make goals that are, apply right now in your context and carry them out before you make the next goal or before you worry about it or before um, it uh, weighs too heavy on your mind, let's say. Because sometimes you cannot know what the next step is going to be. Now, if you're in a situation where you do know the next step, like for example, you go through your first four years of college and then you go to the second four years of graduate school because you're getting a doctorate and that's your plan and there's no way for that to change. The only thing that could change is where you're going to work in the meantime, uh, if you're going to have a uh, you know, job on the side of uh, a, a full-time school, how you're going to pay for it, which college you're going to go to, a few things like that. Things that you cannot tell, however, are sometimes you just have to let those fall into place and carry out your principled plan in the long run anyways. Like which businesses you're going to be uh, dealing with or not. You cannot necessarily plan, if you're opening a cement plant, which businesses you might be buying from and selling to uh, in five or ten years. That is not something that you can plan out. Or you cannot plan customers coming in. If you're going to open a restaurant, you just have to open the doors. There are some things that's maybe a bad example, but that is just another example of these people who don't want to try anything in life. They don't want to roll up their sleeves and make a plan and then hash it out. This was in this particular example, a person who was worried about opening a restaurant saying, what if we don't get the customers? What's our overhead going to be if there aren't enough customers coming in? Now, that's, it's fine to have those um, figures on hand and stuff if you're trying to open a restaurant. But, in the restaurant business, the opening of a restaurant is its honeymoon year. It opens, it does really well for a year, maybe two years, then business falls off after the first year or so, two years. After five years, business is usually off fairly drastically. Um, and after ten years, they have to rebuild them, tear them down, rename them, move them, something like that not completely true all the time, but it's just one of the truisms in the restaurant industry. So, if you can't even get your mind around planning whether or not people are going to come in the door, you, you've got to just drop that and realize that's something you can't plan. That's something that reality has to just put in to the equation as the equation comes due. Or um, how many jobs are going to be available for you when you get out of law school in five more years or something. You cannot plan that. You've just got to go forward and take things as they come on the basic skeletal structure of your long-term goals. You've got your basic, you know, 
like you got a road map to get you from here to New York, you don't know exactly how many times you're going to pull off to pee, where you're going to pull off to pee, what flavor Doritos you're going to buy, whether you're going to go to McDonald's in Omaha or Taco Bell or where you're going to eat uh, when you get to Kansas City or whatever. You don't know. You don't need to know. Those are not things that have to be planned long term. Long term planning does not involve 1,000 details. It involves big principles, big guideposts. Like, for example, we're going to take I-70 till we go to get to Ohio or whatever it is, you know. That's the type of thing long-term planning involves. So, I guess uh, now you're all set to go make some long-term plans. Geez, I do have to say one last thing. I might should have put this at the start of the video. Why is long-term planning important? So that's the motivation is always supposed to go at the start. Sorry about that. Long-term planning is important because human beings live life long-term. They live a very long life, and they don't live cycles like animals. Animals just cycle with the seasons. They have their thoughts and stuff, but only they just fit you know, only within uh, the realm of their actions within the seasons. They build their nest. They migrate. They come back and build new nests. They migrate, new nest, that kind of stuff. Humans are much longer term than just uh, two or three months down the road by instinct. So, the reason to plan long term is because human life depends on it, and it is therefore a virtue, and would therefore make you happy, and therefore would require rationality. All that together should have gone in the first video, but don't worry, because if you made it to the end, you were motivated anyway.